Hello, welcome to Principles of Corporate Finance class. So through this video series, we'll cover all main topics in corporate finance class. Uh, actually, this is principles, fundamental class. I am Fizuli Aliyev, Assistant Professor of Finance at Bakun Zidik University Finance Department. So we will start with an uh, introduction today. Then next, uh, at next class, we'll go into financial statement and time value of money and other. Through this series, we will, as I say, we'll try to cover all core topics in corporate finance. That's why we call it principles. So in general, uh, we assume that you are all have taken uh, accounting or principles of accounting classes, that you are all familiar with uh, basic accounting principles like uh, assets, liabilities, income statement and other. We will cover, we will go through these topics in general, but you should be familiar with these topics. So what is finance? In general, finance is management of sources, financial sources. In general, acquiring funds and using funds. Uh, how to acquire funds at uh, cheapest cost, how to use funds at highest profit. Uh, these areas of finance uh, are corporate finance, that's business finance, public finance, international finance and other investments. We are here at corporate finance, that's business finance, financial management of companies. Uh, assume that you are starting a company, you are starting a, uh, any type of company in any uh, financial or in economic area. Uh, first, you, you need to talk about what uh, will you do, what products will you uh, produce and sell. And it, it requires uh, some uh, fixed assets uh, in financial terms what fixed asset you should invest in. Let's assume that you are starting your restaurant business. You are opening your, you are trying, you are planning to open a new restaurant. So first you think about where to open this restaurant where that will at, uh, attract new customers. That's you need to find the land that's property and you need to find uh, uh, you need to buy some equipment that's uh, cooking equipment, cooking wares. So this is your, the, all these are your fixed assets. It means that you need to find fixed assets. In terms of finance, that's your investment. So uh, assume that you have, this, uh, you have decided to start your business, you have business plan, everything is okay. The second uh, topic, uh, second topic in your mind is how to finance these assets. You, you have found the uh, land, you have found cookwares and others. So you need to f money, you need, to, you need financial uh, sources to buy or to rent this land or to buy these cookwares. So and uh, here we come to second uh, function of finance, in corporate finance. How to finance your investment. And uh, you also uh, you, you bring your uh, friends together. These are your uh, uh, owners or shareholders. Uh, and you start your business. You, f you found your land, you found sources, start business. Also, you need, you need to uh, manage your day-to-day -day operations. So to sum up all these, uh, all these steps, we uh, we build uh, functions of financial management. As first one, uh, corporate finance tries to answer uh, what long-term investment should company take on. As I said, uh, you, you are starting your uh, restaurant business. It means that uh, you are making a long-term investment. So uh, you have decided to start your restaurant business. This is your long-term investment on land and uh, cookwares and others. It also lines of business will the firm be in and what plant profit and equipment will it need. Where will the firm get long-term financing to pay for the investment? This is where will you get funds. Uh, as I said, you, you can bring in your new owners, your friends, or you can issue shares and others, or you can easily go to, go to bank and borrow money. And uh, how will company manage everyday, day-to-day, -day daily financial activities? Uh, starting your restaurant business, you buy raw materials. These are vegetables, fruits, and other food. 
So uh, buying your food, you are, you, you are creating accounts payable in your balance sheet. That's buying your food, you don't pay cash to your suppliers in general. And uh, at the same time, let's assume you're also doing catering business. You sell to uh, other businesses and other corporations will pay you at the end of, let's say, month. So you, you also have, have receivables on your balance sheet. How to manage these receivables and these payables? This is also function of financial management. Because uh, all excess of these uh, receivables creates cost for company. At the same time, also shortage of these receivables may create cost for company. If you look at, if you put these functions on uh, balance sheet, uh, we can uh, say that f first function, uh, we call it capital budgeting, what long-term assets should company invest in. This comes to uh, investment on fixed assets, as I said, on your balance sheet, on the company's balance sheet. So uh, this uh, function is called capital budgeting. How to finance these fixed assets comes from uh, sources may come from liabilities or equity. So how should the firm raise funds for the selected investment, these investments? It is our second uh, function. Finan second function of financial management, we call this capital structure. Also, as I said, company has daily, day-to-day -day operations. These operations are maintained through current assets and current liabilities. So, uh, and these uh, can be shown as networking capital. This is the difference between current assets and current liabilities. So uh, to sum up uh, functions of financial management, this is important an introduction uh, uh, on today's session, first session. Uh, functions of financial management are long-term assets should the company take on. This is capital budgeting. How to finance these investments, capital structure, and how should current assets be managed and financed? This is uh, management of working capital. Uh, in a company, uh, these functions are, are operated through finance managers. So uh, three main financial concerns are usually handled by the top officer uh, and it, uh, his or her uh, assistants. First one is uh, vice president or CFO, Chief Financial Officer. This is the uh, top finance position in a typical company. Strategist, coordinator, authority, they, they are the main authority to uh, make decisions on financial issues. So there are the treasurer, uh, cash flow, capital expenditures, and capital structure controllers. These are, uh, this may change from company to company, but in general, there are this uh, type of financial positions. Uh, <coughs> a TV, hypothetical organization chart uh, starts with board of directors. That's the topest, uh, topest institution in a management of company. These are shareholders, let's say main shareholders come together and form board of directors. They appoint a CEO, chief executive officer, uh, that uh, this manager uh, acts on behalf of shareholders, on best interest of shareholders. So there are the president, uh, chief operations officers and others. Uh, so board, board of directors uh, are, as I said, are the main, uh, let's say, a legislative body of company. They make decisions how the company uh, will operate in general, general uh, operating operation lines. Uh, also, in an introduction, we should talk about co uh, forms of corporations, forms of uh, business, because it uh, acts how these uh, functions are met, so far we talked. Uh, sole proprietorship, this is the basic form of uh, business. Uh, that's uh, if you want to start a business, you can uh, only go to, uh, let's say, tax authority with your ID, very simply in Azerbaijan with your tax status, I guess you go to tax authority, open your tax uh, account and start your business. This is sole proprietorship, the, base, uh, the basic form of business. So in this type of business, you are responsible for all your actions. The partnership, we put it into two 
subcategories uh, general partnership and limited partnership. You don't want to uh, work by your own because you take all the risks. You, you bring your partners together and form a partnership. So uh, general and limited partnership, this is uh, due to responsibilities, how responsibilities are separated. And the corporation. Corporations are the, uh, are the wider categories. These are companies come together. They not only uh, limited to partners, the corporations issue shares to public. They, are, uh, they have publicly traded uh, stocks and there is not one shareholder or two shareholders in, the, in this uh, type of companies. So what we talk here in this, through these courses uh, is based on corporations, if, unless others state it. So uh, these are their comparison uh, between partnership and corporation, liquidity and marketability. Corporations can easily be exchanged, they have outstanding shares and it's very easy to corpor for corporations to raise funds and to attract new funds. Voting rights, usually each shares gets one vote, but in general partners, uh, partnership, uh, general partners, uh, partner is in charge, limited partners may have some voting rights. This, uh, this is somehow limited. Taxation, double corporation, uh, corporations have double tax, uh, taxation partnerships, may tax on all distribution. This is actually the main disadvantage of corporations. So corporations uh, uh, pay income tax on their own as a company. So they, uh, they pay once income tax to government. They have net income. Net income is distributed among shareholders. Shareholders get dividends. Shareholders also pay dividend tax. So they, uh, what shareholders get is double tax on corporations. Reinvestment and dividend payout, uh, it's a uh, broad latitude, all net cash flow is distributed to partners in partnership, but uh, in corporations, as I said, there are many shareholders and uh, debt holders, all the cash are distributed among them. Liability, it, it has a limited liability, but in partnership it's uh, somehow different. Uh, corporations, uh, they, are, they have perpetual life, but partnership has uh, limited life. So this is a general com uh, comparison. Companies, uh, are, companies may be in uh, this, one of these types or others. Corporate form of organization is not unique uh, to the United States. In, as I said, in, uh, uh, in, it may change from country to country. There are limited liability corporations, PLC and others. So again, coming back to financial management, I, I talked about functions of financial management. We said three fun function. Also, we can add uh, a dividend payout points as a as a fourth function of as the fourth function of uh, financial management, because corporations generally pay out to their shareholders, or uh, they may not pay out. Also, this is a policy of company. But the main goal of financial management is not maximizing profit, main goal. Functions are different than goals. Uh, maximizing profit it is very important, but maximizing profit, for example, to maximize profit this year, company may, uh, may have higher sales, as for example, they sell on discount to, to get higher sales, uh, or they may, uh, they may some they may have they make they may make some change on costs and have higher profit, but this may not be sustainable. That's not to say that main goal is not maximizing profit is because it is easy. It is open to manipulation. Minimize costs now. Maximizing market share now because market share having market, higher market share it's a good goal. It's an important or it may be. Uh, goal of marketing uh, department, but it's not goal of financial management. Maximizing shareholder votes, yes, because uh, maximizing shareholder votes means maximizing firm value. That's very important. Having a higher firm value means uh, equity holders, shareholders have higher wealth in company. 
So that's why companies say that we are trying to increase your wealth. Uh, that sounds very good for to favor shareholders. So uh, and coming to as I said here, company uh, board of directors come together. They appoint uh, chief executive officer to act on their to manage company on behalf of uh, shareholders. Sometimes those managers act uh, not on the best interest of shareholders. They act on best interest of themselves. That's agency problem. Shareholders, uh, shareholders. That's real owners of company. They may be. Uh, they may have other jobs as well. So they uh, appoint one manager to work for them. They are not uh, aware of full procedures, full operations in company. But managers, company managers, knows everything what's happening in company, what opportunities rise, what, uh, what, what's best for company. Sometimes they hide better options for company and uh, put, uh, put ahead, uh, put forward what's best for them. Shareholders may not be, see these uh, options, but uh, managers, company managers see uh, these options and they manipulate it for their own interest to get higher bonuses, for example, to get uh, hired for long term. But they, uh, this happens as, uh, for example, there is a project for a company that's very profitable. Uh, that's very profitable in 10 years, for example, that's a long-term project. Uh, and, and there's another alternative project that's, uh, that's also profitable, but in short time. So uh, managers may hide uh, this long-term project and they, uh, may show the short, short project, that's, which is best for them. They will get higher bonuses if this project is selected and they, uh, they will get. They will be hired for a long, uh, some period. So, if a company chose this project, let's say in ten years, after five years, company would get higher profits. But manager, uh, the manager may think that I, I'm naturally I will be if I will be here for ten years after five years or not. Uh, so I shouldn't go with this project. They s choose uh, the best one. What is lost here? What is lost here? is cost agency cost for company that we call this agency cost uh, for company so this uh, there's an example large investment positions firm for long term as i said positive cash flow but that has risk in short run owners want this investment increase firm value managers object this may have personal costs if they uh, accept this project it, uh, uh, so this risk uh, may have some personal cost to them if managers prevail, for a long-term cash flow is the agency cost, as I said. Uh, so uh, th there are many ways to solve this uh, agency problem, but it is not uh, solvable at all because there is a human factor. So they have some they have some interest for their own. So, but there is a way to mitigate them. As companies apply, they put some uh, uh, compensation systems, bonus systems for managers to motivate them to, uh, to have, uh, to, uh, to act, uh, increase uh, company value, share value. Coming back to second function that we call capital structure. So how uh, companies raise cash, they do this via through financial markets. Corporations are in one side, corporations and uh, financial institutions are in, other side. So there, are, there may also be some uh, individuals, individuals come and invest in investment funds, financial markets, cash is collected here. They have, let's say, cash surplus, they have excess cash, and corporations need cash. They have cash shortage. So they uh, come together and meet at financial markets. financial markets, the in, uh, individuals lend money or invest in company, they uh, 
very simply they give their money to corporations uh, through buying stocks or bonds, securities, bonds or stocks, invest in company and they produce, they make productions and they uh, create a new value, add value, new, uh, they uh, get, generate higher uh, positive uh, net income and they pay out to these uh, companies, these investment funds. So this process, all this process happen at, on financial markets. Financial, as, as it's, uh, it's seen here, financial market is a place where those in need for cash and they, where they, uh, they have cash surplus come together and exchange their cash. Financial markets are very developed nowadays in modern world. There actually there is, is very less physical market uh, of financial markets. All almost uh, all transactions uh, happen on online regime. We divide financial markets into primary markets and secondary markets. Primary market is where transactions uh, happen between company and investor. That's primary. First company issues stocks to investors and that uh, investors buy stock from company, from main uh, issuer. These uh, actions uh, happen on primary market. Secondary market is where stocks and bonds uh, trade between investors. That's not for, uh, uh, one investor may uh, buy stock from another investor, not from uh, principal company. Also, we divide financial market into, again, talking about financial markets, divide onto, into capital markets, and money markets. Capital markets are the markets where long-term securities are traded, long-term financial assets are traded. These are bonds, so at least they have matured to one year or having matured to over one year, more than one year. Uh, stocks, these are mainly unlimited, they have perpetual life, and others, let's say derivatives. So all these assets long-term assets are traded on capital markets or capital markets are for investment uh, horizon over than one year. Money markets are the markets where short-term assets are traded. Short-term uh, we mean with the maturity up to one year, until one year. These are, uh, so here are traded treasury bills mainly, treasury bills of government, US treasury and other government treasury bills, commercial papers, that's short-term papers, uh, borrowing of company, commercial papers, uh, certificate of deposits and others, repo and others, other actions. All these uh, securities have maturity less than one year. Maybe there are 30 days commercial papers, uh, 90 days treasury bills and others, very short term, one week repo, actions, operations and others. So if company needs cash at short term, they can easily go and borrow at money market. Or if company has cash shortage, sorry, cash surplus at short term, for example, they have uh, more than, they have cash more than they need, for example, for 90, for three months, they can easily go and invest in treasury bills. But if companies need long-term financing, they go to uh, capital markets. Uh, also, a few words about uh, working capital management. The, that was third function of financial management, working, uh, working capital management. As I show on our slide, we have current assets, 
current assets as cash, accounts receivables, inventory, and others. And we have current liabilities. Let's build T shape balance sheet current liabilities. We have accounts payables. Months payables, lets payables, interest payables, and tax payables, and others. Wages and others. So, uh, working capital management, as I said, is day to day management of these uh, assets, uh, uh, current assets and current liabilities. For example, management of cash, that's important. Cash management, we will talk in details at, in coming weeks. How much uh, cash should company have? Uh, excess, holding excess cash, more than needed cash, has opportunity cost. Or uh, having less cash, shortage of cash also creates cost. Lost, uh, for example, very, uh, very simply, lost opportunities. There may be sudden reason opportunities. If you have cash, you should buy it, for example, as a company. And also receivables, accounts receivables are also important management, managing accounts receivables. So having higher receivables is uh, actually a bad sign for a company. It means that you have sold so much, very huge numbers, but you haven't collected cash. Uh, having less receivables also creates, may create cost for company. It means that you are trying to sell everything on cash. You may lose your customers. Uh, same logic applies for inventory as well. Having higher uh, amount of inventory may create cost company as storage costs, warehouse costs and others. Having less inventory also uh, may create cost company as you need to uh, reorder again and again and again. So ordering, reorder, ordering may have transport costs and other costs. So we'll talk about uh, managing these current assets, that's maintaining optimum level of these, these assets in terms of cash money. Also in the liability side, we'll uh, try to have higher, uh, to try, try to find optimum level of payables because actually we want to have higher payables. This is cash source, but if we, uh, if we pay late, very simply suppliers will not uh, sell us or uh, we will lose some opportunities. Same logic applies for not payable and others. If uh, taxes, if we don't pay taxes, we may get fined. So this uh, is introduction to financial management. That is uh, functions of financial management. What we we'll, we we'll talk about through this series. This is uh, session one introduction. And uh, also we talk about financial uh, markets very shortly, how companies, where companies find sources. We say that function, one function of financial management is finding sources. Where we find sources, we need to go to uh, financial markets. That's all for introduction. We'll continue with session until next time. Thank you.